the orrery is now complete, and I'd like to take a, a moment to point out some of the details of the build that uh, weren't mentioned in any of the other videos. We can start with the planets. Um, you watched me make Jupiter um, and put the rings on Saturn, but um, here you can see all of the planets and uh, Jupiter that we made um, is uh, African zebra wood. Saturn is uh, is made from canary wood. The rings of Saturn that we worked on actually I'm very pleased with the way they turned out. If you look from the side, you see the effect that I was after of getting the you know the two rings trying to get that 3D effect, and uh, I'm very pleased with the way that turned out. Venus is made from marble wood. Mars is made from uh, cocobolo. Mercury was made with uh, Huba Bali. I made the earth from an acrylic pen blank and I chose a blue with, with white to give the effect of a cloud cover over the over Earth as it often looks from space. The moon was made from ebony and I added a little gray streaking to it because the ebony is jet black. Um, and the sun, as you saw before, is solid acrylic. I added a pointer to the earth um, support rod which is always pointing into the calendar gear so that as the earth moves around it has a date setting because the whole point of the orrery is to be able to look at any particular date uh, you know for your latitude and longitude and know where the planets would be. Uh, setting this up is just a matter of uh, doing an online search for like planet positions. There are many, many websites who have um, dynamic views where you can enter your latitude and longitude and it'll show you where all the planets are. And because, as you recall, they were all built on, on clutches, once you look that up, you can set the planets to where they need to be and once you've set them for a particular date you know they will stay in that um, relative positioning and then as you advance the orrery they will advance correctly so once the date has been set once it stays correct. In addition to the date um, you know based on the year at the bottom of the orrery around the base if you recall, we engraved the, uh, the years, and uh, there is this pointer here, which again is settable, and you can point it to whatever year uh, the date represents. Uh, the date numbering only includes the last two digits because this could be you know, 2050 or 1950 or 1750 or whatever century you were uh, interested in. Um, I had said earlier in one of the videos uh, that I was considering spraying a matte lacquer on the on the planets when they were completed. Um, I later decided to put a gloss lacquer on them, and uh, the reason for that was because everything in the in the orrery has you know a gloss finish to it and when I put the planets in with a with a matte finish they just didn't feel like they were uh, like they belonged so by adding the gloss I think everything feels like it all fits together properly
The crank turns very easily. It's a nice smooth motion. Um, it took quite a bit of adjusting. Um, the trickiest part was making sure that you know each level as it was put on the shaft was you know exactly um, you know parallel to the base. Um, you know, because there is a very uneven weight distribution with the gears coming off the arms, but with some fiddling, um, I was able to get everything aligned just just right. Um, and it works the way it was intended. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Um, feel free to make your own. Enjoy.